How do you stay focused and engaged in the classroom? I stay engaged by actively participating in class discussions and taking thorough notes. It helps me absorb the material better. How do you stay focused and engaged in the classroom? I stay engaged by actively participating in class discussions and taking thorough notes. It helps me absorb the material better. Are there specific study techniques you find effective in preparing for classroom discussions? Creating study guides and summarizing key points help me prepare for classroom discussions and contribute meaningfully to the conversation. Are there specific study techniques you find effective in preparing for classroom discussions? Creating study guides and summarizing key points help me prepare for classroom discussions and contribute meaningfully to the conversation. How do you approach group projects in the classroom? I ensure open communication within the group, delegate tasks based on strengths, and collaborate to achieve the project's objectives effectively. How do you approach group projects in the classroom? I ensure open communication within the group delegate tasks based on strengths, and collaborate to achieve the project's objectives effectively. Have you ever volunteered to answer questions or present in front of the class? Yes. Volunteering to answer questions or present helps me build confidence and actively participate in the learning process. Have you ever volunteered to answer questions or present in front of the class? Yes. Volunteering to answer questions or present helps me build confidence and actively participate in the learning process. How do you handle challenging or unfamiliar topics introduced in the classroom? I approach challenging topics by seeking additional resources, asking questions, and engaging in discussions with classmates and instructors for a better understanding. How do you handle challenging or unfamiliar topics introduced in the classroom? I approach challenging topics by seeking additional resources asking questions, and engaging in discussions with classmates and instructors for a better understanding. Do you have a preferred seating arrangement in the classroom, and how does it impact your focus? I prefer sitting closer to the front for better visibility and focus. It helps me actively participate and stay engaged with the material. Do you have a preferred seating arrangement in the classroom, and how does it impact your focus? I prefer sitting closer to the front for better visibility and focus. It helps me actively participate and stay engaged with the material. How do you manage your time during lectures and class discussions? Time management involves prioritizing note-taking, actively listening, and participating in discussions to maximize my understanding of the subject matter. How do you manage your time during lectures and class discussions? Time management involves prioritizing note-taking, actively listening, and participating in discussions to maximize my understanding of the subject matter. Have you ever formed study groups with classmates to enhance your learning experience? Yes. Forming study groups allows for collaborative learning, sharing perspectives, 
and gaining insights from different classmates. Have you ever formed study groups with classmates to enhance your learning experience? Yes. Forming study groups allows for collaborative learning, sharing perspectives, and gaining insights from different classmates. How do you stay organized with class materials, assignments, and deadlines? I use a planner or digital calendar to stay organized. Noting assignment due dates and exam schedules to manage my academic responsibilities effectively. How do you stay organized with class materials, assignments, and deadlines? I use a planner or digital calendar to stay organized. Noting assignment due dates and exam schedules to manage my academic responsibilities effectively. What strategies do you employ to overcome distractions and maintain focus during lectures? Strategies include turning off electronic notifications, practicing mindfulness, and actively engaging in class discussions to stay focused and attentive. What strategies do you employ to overcome distractions and maintain focus during lectures? Strategies include turning off electronic notifications, practicing mindfulness, and actively engaging in class discussions to stay focused and attentive. How do you contribute to a positive and inclusive classroom environment? Contributing to a positive environment involves actively listening, respecting diverse opinions, and encouraging open communication within the class. How do you contribute to a positive and inclusive classroom environment? Contributing to a positive environment involves actively listening, respecting diverse opinions, and encouraging open communication within the class. Have you ever sought additional help or clarification from instructors when faced with challenging concepts? Seeking clarification from instructors is crucial. I schedule office hours or send emails to address any uncertainties and ensure a strong grasp of the material. Have you ever sought additional help or clarification from instructors when faced with challenging concepts? Seeking clarification from instructors is crucial. I schedule office hours or send emails to address any uncertainties and ensure a strong grasp of the material. How do you balance the use of technology in the classroom, such as laptops or tablets, for note-taking? I use technology selectively for note-taking, ensuring it enhances rather than distracts. I prefer handwritten notes for better retention but use digital tools when needed. How do you balance the use of technology in the classroom, such as laptops or tablets, for note-taking? I use technology selectively for note-taking, ensuring it enhances rather than distracts. I prefer handwritten notes for better retention but use digital tools when needed. Do you have a preferred learning style, and how do you adapt it to different classroom settings? My preferred learning style is visual, but I adapt by incorporating auditory and kinesthetic approaches as needed to align with diverse teaching methods. Do you have a preferred learning style, and how do you adapt it to different classroom settings? My preferred learning style is visual, 
but I adapt by incorporating auditory and kinesthetic approaches as needed to align with diverse teaching methods. How do you manage stress during exam periods or high-pressure situations in the classroom? Stress management involves practicing mindfulness, creating a study schedule, and ensuring self-care to maintain a healthy balance during challenging academic periods. How do you manage stress during exam periods or high-pressure situations in the classroom? Stress management involves practicing mindfulness, creating a study schedule, and ensuring self-care to maintain a healthy balance during challenging academic periods. Have you ever participated in extracurricular activities or clubs related to your coursework? Yes. Participating in relevant extracurricular activities and clubs complements my coursework, providing practical experiences and expanding my knowledge. Have you ever participated in extracurricular activities or clubs related to your coursework? Yes. Participating in relevant extracurricular activities and clubs complements my coursework providing practical experiences and expanding my knowledge. How do you stay informed about class announcements and updates from instructors? Staying informed involves regularly checking emails, class portals, and communication channels to ensure I am aware of any announcements or updates. How do you stay informed about class announcements and updates from instructors? Staying informed involves regularly checking emails, class portals, and communication channels to ensure I am aware of any announcements or updates. How do you handle conflicting schedules when balancing multiple classes and coursework? Balancing conflicting schedules requires effective time management, prioritizing tasks, and creating a structured study routine to stay on top of coursework. How do you handle conflicting schedules when balancing multiple classes and coursework? Balancing conflicting schedules requires effective time management prioritizing tasks, and creating a structured study routine to stay on top of coursework. Have you ever used tutoring services or study resources provided by the school to enhance your understanding of subjects? Yes. Utilizing tutoring services and school resources is valuable for gaining additional support and strengthening my understanding of challenging subjects. Have you ever used tutoring services or study resources provided by the school to enhance your understanding of subjects? Yes. Utilizing tutoring services and school resources is valuable for gaining additional support and strengthening my understanding of challenging subjects. How do you approach collaborative assignments to ensure equal contribution from all group members? Ensuring equal contribution involves setting clear expectations, communicating openly, and addressing any challenges promptly to create a fair and collaborative environment. How do you approach collaborative assignments to ensure equal contribution from all group members? Ensuring equal contribution involves setting clear expectations, communicating openly, and addressing any challenges promptly to create a fair and collaborative environment. 
How do you handle situations where classroom discussions become heated or intense? Handling intense discussions involves staying calm, respecting differing opinions, and contributing constructively to maintain a positive and respectful classroom atmosphere. How do you handle situations where classroom discussions become heated or intense? Handling intense discussions involves staying calm, respecting differing opinions, and contributing constructively to maintain a positive and respectful classroom atmosphere. Have you ever taken on a leadership role within a group project in the classroom? Yes. Taking on leadership roles allows me to guide the group effectively, ensure collaboration, and facilitate a successful outcome for the project. Have you ever taken on a leadership role within a group project in the classroom? Yes. Taking on leadership roles allows me to guide the group effectively, ensure collaboration, and facilitate a successful outcome for the project. How do you approach classroom presentations to deliver clear and effective content? Effective presentations involve thorough preparation, creating engaging visuals, and practicing delivery to confidently convey the content to the class. How do you approach classroom presentations to deliver clear and effective content? Effective presentations involve thorough preparation, creating engaging visuals, and practicing delivery to confidently convey the content to the class. How do you handle situations where there is a lack of clarity or miscommunication within the classroom? Addressing miscommunication involves seeking clarification, asking questions, and engaging in open dialogue with both classmates and instructors to ensure a shared understanding. How do you handle situations where there is a lack of clarity or miscommunication within the classroom? Addressing miscommunication involves seeking clarification, asking questions, and engaging in open dialogue with both classmates and instructors to ensure a shared understanding. Have you ever participated in academic conferences or seminars related to your field of study? Yes. Attending conferences and seminars provides opportunities for networking, staying updated on industry trends, and gaining insights beyond the classroom setting. Have you ever participated in academic conferences or seminars related to your field of study? Yes. Attending conferences and seminars provides opportunities for networking staying updated on industry trends, and gaining insights beyond the classroom setting. How do you approach peer review sessions for assignments or projects in the classroom? Peer reviews involve providing constructive feedback, acknowledging strengths, and offering suggestions for improvement to enhance the overall quality of assignments and projects. How do you approach peer review sessions for assignments or projects in the classroom? Peer reviews involve providing constructive feedback, acknowledging strengths, and offering suggestions for improvement to enhance the overall quality of assignments and projects. How do you handle situations where external commitments impact your ability to fully engage in classroom activities? 
Balancing external commitments involves proactive communication with instructors, planning ahead, and ensuring a commitment to maintaining academic responsibilities. How do you handle situations where external commitments impact your ability to fully engage in classroom activities? Balancing external commitments involves proactive communication with instructors, planning ahead, and ensuring a commitment to maintaining academic responsibilities. Have you ever organized study sessions or study groups to collaborate with classmates? Yes. Organizing study sessions fosters a collaborative learning environment, allowing classmates to share insights and reinforce understanding of course material. Have you ever organized study sessions or study groups to collaborate with classmates? Yes. Organizing study sessions fosters a collaborative learning environment, allowing classmates to share insights and reinforce understanding of course material. How do you stay motivated to actively participate in classes, especially during long or challenging lectures? Staying motivated involves finding personal interest in the subject, setting goals for active participation, and reminding myself of the long-term benefits of engagement. How do you stay motivated to actively participate in classes, especially during long or challenging lectures? Staying motivated involves finding personal interest in the subject, setting goals for active participation, and reminding myself of the long-term benefits of engagement. Have you ever utilized online resources or forums to supplement your classroom learning? Yes. Online resources and forums provide additional perspectives, supplementary materials, and opportunities for discussion, enriching my overall classroom learning experience. Have you ever utilized online resources or forums to supplement your classroom learning? Yes. Online resources and forums provide additional perspectives supplementary materials, and opportunities for discussion, enriching my overall classroom learning experience. How do you approach situations where there is a lack of inclusivity or diversity awareness in the classroom? Addressing lack of inclusivity involves promoting open dialogue, encouraging diverse perspectives, and collaborating with instructors to create an inclusive classroom environment. How do you approach situations where there is a lack of inclusivity or diversity awareness in the classroom? Addressing lack of inclusivity involves promoting open dialogue, encouraging diverse perspectives, and collaborating with instructors to create an inclusive classroom environment. How do you handle situations where you disagree with the teaching methods employed in the classroom? Disagreeing with teaching methods involves providing constructive feedback, seeking clarification, and exploring alternative approaches through respectful communication. How do you handle situations where you disagree with the teaching methods employed in the classroom? Disagreeing with teaching methods involves providing constructive feedback, seeking clarification, and exploring alternative approaches through respectful communication. Have you ever collaborated on research projects with classmates to explore topics beyond the classroom curriculum? Yes. 
Collaborative research projects allow for in-depth exploration of topics, shared responsibilities, and a comprehensive understanding of subjects beyond the classroom. Have you ever collaborated on research projects with classmates to explore topics beyond the classroom curriculum? Yes. Collaborative research projects allow for in-depth exploration of topics, shared responsibilities, and a comprehensive understanding of subjects beyond the classroom. How do you handle situations where classroom materials or textbooks are insufficient for your understanding? Seeking additional resources, such as online articles, reference books, or academic journals, helps supplement classroom materials and enhances my understanding of the subject. How do you handle situations where classroom materials or textbooks are insufficient for your understanding? Seeking additional resources, such as online articles, reference books, or academic journals, helps supplement classroom materials and enhances my understanding of the subject. Have you ever taken elective courses or pursued independent study projects to expand your knowledge beyond required coursework? Yes. Taking electives and engaging in independent study projects allows me to explore specific areas of interest and broaden my knowledge beyond the standard curriculum. Have you ever taken elective courses or pursued independent study projects to expand your knowledge beyond required coursework? Yes. Taking electives and engaging in independent study projects allows me to explore specific areas of interest and broaden my knowledge beyond the standard curriculum. How do you approach situations where you feel overwhelmed by the volume of coursework or assignments? Addressing overwhelm involves prioritizing tasks, breaking them into manageable steps, and seeking support from instructors or classmates to ensure successful completion. How do you approach situations where you feel overwhelmed by the volume of coursework or assignments? Addressing overwhelm involves prioritizing tasks, breaking them into manageable steps, and seeking support from instructors or classmates to ensure successful completion. Have you ever provided mentorship or guidance to classmates struggling with specific subjects? Yes. Providing mentorship involves sharing insights, offering study tips, and supporting classmates to help them overcome challenges in specific subjects. Have you ever provided mentorship or guidance to classmates struggling with specific subjects? Yes. Providing mentorship involves sharing insights, offering study tips, and supporting classmates to help them overcome challenges in specific subjects. How do you handle situations where external factors, such as personal issues, affect your academic performance in the classroom. Handling personal issues involves communicating with instructors, seeking necessary support services, and developing a plan to manage academic responsibilities during challenging times. How do you handle situations where external factors, such as personal issues, affect your academic performance in the classroom. Handling personal issues involves communicating with instructors, seeking necessary support services, 
and developing a plan to manage academic responsibilities during challenging times. Have you ever participated in study abroad programs or exchange programs to experience different classroom environments? Yes. Participating in study abroad programs provides exposure to diverse teaching methods, cultural perspectives, and academic environments, enriching my overall educational experience. Have you ever participated in study abroad programs or exchange programs to experience different classroom environments? Yes. Participating in study abroad programs provides exposure to diverse teaching methods, cultural perspectives, and academic environments, enriching my overall educational experience. How do you approach situations where you find certain classroom discussions or assignments irrelevant to your career goals? Approaching such situations involves finding connections between the material and my overall educational goals, seeking practical applications, and maintaining an open mind to different perspectives. How do you approach situations where you find certain classroom discussions or assignments irrelevant to your career goals? Approaching such situations involves finding connections between the material and my overall educational goals, seeking practical applications, and maintaining an open mind to different perspectives. Have you ever utilized technology, such as educational apps or online platforms, to enhance your classroom learning experience? Yes. Using educational apps and online platforms complements classroom learning. Offering interactive resources, quizzes, and additional materials for a well-rounded understanding. Have you ever utilized technology, such as educational apps or online platforms, to enhance your classroom learning experience? Yes. Using educational apps and online platforms complements classroom learning. Offering interactive resources, quizzes, and additional materials for a well-rounded understanding. How do you handle situations where there is a lack of enthusiasm or engagement within the classroom? Addressing a lack of enthusiasm involves actively participating, encouraging classmates, and promoting a positive atmosphere to foster engagement within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a lack of enthusiasm or engagement within the classroom? Addressing a lack of enthusiasm involves actively participating encouraging classmates, and promoting a positive atmosphere to foster engagement within the classroom. Have you ever collaborated with classmates on creative projects or initiatives outside of regular coursework? Yes. Collaborating on creative projects outside of coursework allows for innovation, shared creativity, and unique perspectives beyond the traditional classroom setting. Have you ever collaborated with classmates on creative projects or initiatives outside of regular coursework? Yes. Collaborating on creative projects outside of coursework allows for innovation, shared creativity, and unique perspectives beyond the traditional classroom setting. How do you handle situations where there is a need for improvisation or quick thinking in the classroom? Improvisation involves drawing on existing knowledge, 
staying calm, under pressure, and creatively adapting to unexpected situations to navigate challenges within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a need for improvisation or quick thinking in the classroom? Improvisation involves drawing on existing knowledge, staying calm, under pressure, and creatively adapting to unexpected situations to navigate challenges within the classroom. Have you ever taken on the responsibility of organizing academic events or seminars within the classroom? Yes. Taking on such responsibilities involves planning, coordination, and collaboration. With classmates to create meaningful and educational events for the entire classroom. Have you ever taken on the responsibility of organizing academic events or seminars within the classroom? Yes. Taking on such responsibilities involves planning, coordination, and collaboration. With classmates to create meaningful and educational events for the entire classroom. How do you balance the need for active participation in the classroom with introverted tendencies? Balancing participation involves finding a comfortable level of engagement, contributing thoughtfully, and ensuring active involvement while respecting personal introverted tendencies. How do you balance the need for active participation in the classroom with introverted tendencies? Balancing participation involves finding a comfortable level of engagement, contributing thoughtfully, and ensuring active involvement while respecting personal introverted tendencies. Have you ever participated in research projects initiated by instructors to explore real-world applications of classroom concepts? Yes. Participating in research projects provides hands-on experience, allowing for the practical application of classroom concepts to real-world scenarios. Have you ever participated in research projects initiated by instructors to explore real-world applications of classroom concepts? Yes. Participating in research projects provides hands-on experience, allowing for the practical application of classroom concepts to real-world scenarios. How do you approach situations where there is a need for effective communication within the classroom setting? Effective communication involves clear articulation, active listening, and the use of collaborative tools to ensure a shared understanding and positive interaction within the classroom. How do you approach situations where there is a need for effective communication within the classroom setting? Effective communication involves clear articulation, active listening, and the use of collaborative tools to ensure a shared understanding and positive interaction within the classroom. Have you ever sought feedback from instructors to improve your academic performance and engagement within the classroom? Yes. Seeking feedback involves understanding areas of improvement, implementing constructive suggestions, and continuously refining my approach to enhance academic performance. Have you ever sought feedback from instructors to improve your academic performance and engagement within the classroom? Yes. Seeking feedback involves understanding areas of improvement, implementing constructive suggestions, and continuously refining my approach to enhance academic performance. 
How do you handle situations where you encounter diverse perspectives or opinions within the classroom? Handling diverse perspectives involves embracing differences, listening actively, and fostering open dialogue to create an inclusive and enriching learning environment within the classroom. How do you handle situations where you encounter diverse perspectives or opinions within the classroom? Handling diverse perspectives involves embracing differences, listening actively, and fostering open dialogue to create an inclusive and enriching learning environment within the classroom. Have you ever participated in class debates or discussions on controversial topics, and how do you approach such situations? Yes. Participating in debates involves thorough research, presenting well-supported arguments, and respecting opposing viewpoints to contribute meaningfully to class discussions. Have you ever participated in class debates or discussions on controversial topics, and how do you approach such situations? Yes. Participating in debates involves thorough research, presenting well-supported arguments, and respecting opposing viewpoints to contribute meaningfully to class discussions. How do you handle situations where there is a need for critical thinking or problem solving within the classroom? Critical thinking involves analyzing information, synthesizing ideas, and proposing innovative solutions to address challenges within the classroom setting. How do you handle situations where there is a need for critical thinking or problem solving within the classroom? Critical thinking involves analyzing information, synthesizing ideas, and proposing innovative solutions to address challenges within the classroom setting. Have you ever collaborated with classmates on community service projects initiated by the classroom or school? Yes. Collaborating on community service projects allows for a practical application of classroom concepts to benefit the community and enhance the overall learning experience. Have you ever collaborated with classmates on community service projects initiated by the classroom or school? Yes. Collaborating on community service projects allows for a practical application of classroom concepts to benefit the community and enhance the overall learning experience. How do you approach situations where the classroom environment becomes competitive rather than collaborative? Addressing competitiveness involves promoting a collaborative mindset, emphasizing shared learning goals, and encouraging classmates to support each other for mutual success. How do you approach situations where the classroom environment becomes competitive rather than collaborative? Addressing competitiveness involves promoting a collaborative mindset, emphasizing shared learning goals, and encouraging classmates to support each other for mutual success. Have you ever participated in interdisciplinary projects or courses to explore connections between different subjects? Yes. Participating in interdisciplinary projects fosters a holistic understanding of connections between subjects and promotes a well-rounded educational experience within the classroom. Have you ever participated in interdisciplinary projects or courses to explore connections between different subjects? Yes. 
Participating in interdisciplinary projects fosters a holistic understanding of connections between subjects and promotes a well-rounded educational experience within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a need for adaptability to changes in the classroom schedule or curriculum? Adaptability involves staying informed, adjusting schedules accordingly, and approaching changes with a positive and flexible mindset to navigate classroom dynamics effectively. How do you handle situations where there is a need for adaptability to changes in the classroom schedule or curriculum? Adaptability involves staying informed adjusting schedules accordingly, and approaching changes with a positive and flexible mindset to navigate classroom dynamics effectively. Have you ever participated in workshops or seminars within the classroom to develop additional skills beyond the curriculum? Yes. Participating in workshops and seminars allows for skill development, exposure to new concepts, and a more comprehensive learning experience within the classroom. Have you ever participated in workshops or seminars within the classroom to develop additional skills beyond the curriculum? Yes. Participating in workshops and seminars allows for skill development, exposure to new concepts, and a more comprehensive learning experience within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a need for creativity or innovative thinking within the classroom setting? Innovative thinking involves exploring unconventional solutions, embracing creativity, and encouraging classmates to think outside the box to address challenges within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a need for creativity or innovative thinking within the classroom setting? Innovative thinking involves exploring unconventional solutions embracing creativity, and encouraging classmates to think outside the box to address challenges within the classroom. Have you ever initiated collaborative initiatives or projects within the classroom to create a positive and proactive learning environment? Yes. Initiating collaborative projects involves fostering a positive atmosphere, promoting teamwork, and creating opportunities for shared contributions to enhance the overall classroom experience. Have you ever initiated collaborative initiatives or projects within the classroom to create a positive and proactive learning environment? Yes. Initiating collaborative projects involves fostering a positive atmosphere, promoting teamwork, and creating opportunities for shared contributions to enhance the overall classroom experience. How do you approach situations where there is a need for ethical decision-making within the classroom? Ethical decision-making involves considering the impact of actions on others, upholding integrity, and adhering to ethical principles to contribute to a positive classroom environment. How do you approach situations where there is a need for ethical decision-making within the classroom? Ethical decision-making involves considering the impact of actions on others, upholding integrity, and adhering to ethical principles to contribute to a positive classroom environment. Have you ever participated in class discussions or projects that emphasize global perspectives or cross-cultural understanding? 
Yes. Participating in discussions and projects with a global focus promotes cross-cultural understanding, expands perspectives, and enriches the overall classroom experience. Have you ever participated in class discussions or projects that emphasize global perspectives or cross-cultural understanding? Yes. Participating in discussions and projects with a global focus promotes cross-cultural understanding, expands perspectives, and enriches the overall classroom experience. How do you handle situations where there is a need for effective time management within the classroom setting? Effective time management involves prioritizing tasks, creating schedules, and staying organized to ensure that I can actively engage and contribute within the classroom. How do you handle situations where there is a need for effective time management within the classroom setting? Effective time management involves prioritizing tasks creating schedules, and staying organized to ensure that I can actively engage and contribute within the classroom.